Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carl and you're tuned into the USG Knowledge Hub. And today we're going to be looking at something very exciting. And it's not just a normal socket. Oh no, we've moved on since then. We have now got something that's just come onto the market. And let me tell you, it's um, something that I think is going to change the industry. So let's have a quick look. Let's roll the credits. <laughs> So, good throw that, that's a camera crew jumping in, um, but basically what we've got today is, it's a bit like a little unboxing, um, we've got two, two sockets here, um, but there's something very different between them, okay, so what we're going to do today is a quick review and see what's actually changed from MK, okay, we're not actually sponsored by MK, but if MK do want to, you know, jump on board with USG, um, feel free, so... What we have is the MK Rapid Fix um, screwless terminal uh, socket. And basically, this socket has just been released and it's new from MK. And I'm sure there's going to be more products to follow. And basically, what we're going to do is going to talk about the changes in it and compare them to what we know in the industry as a normal socket outlet. I'm excited for this, actually. I've been banging on about this all week. so. And let me tell you, it doesn't disappoint. So, so looking at these straight away, you can see there's not really much that's changed in terms of obviously the front, the front of the socket. So in terms of you installing these and the finish that you're trying to achieve, great, no, no change there. Build quality wise, still the same, really good quality from MK. But what has changed, obviously the back of it. So as we've got the old screw connections, which is fine, and you know everybody's happy with that, times have changed we have now got these wiggle like connections on the back okay obviously a lot has changed so we've got rid of the screwed connections and we've replaced them with these nice levered connections as well so these are very much the same as the wagos and, and, and other uh, connections very much the same as those and to be honest first impressions really good seems solidly made and as you can see on every single one of them Depending obviously how many cables you're going to be putting in the back, that they are really easy to um, lever up and obviously put back down. So I'm just going to show this a bit closer to the camera. So obviously on the back there you can see they've replaced the screw terminations and what we've got here, we've still got the same sort of setup. So you've got a point for the neutral connection, a point for the CPC and where you put your earth there, and obviously a point for your line conductor as well. So Looking underneath, obviously with this one here on the older type, on the screw connection, the screws are obviously from above. So when you're terminating that into a socket, um, you're going to be flipping the socket down and you're going to be from above there. And obviously your terminations are still from in the bottom. And then on this one, obviously there's no need for a screwdriver or anything like that, but the connections are still on the bottom. So in terms of terminating and fitting them into the actual socket, uh, uh, socket back box, it should be relatively the same. Um, so, so far so good. Also on here, you can see that obviously there's a few other points on there that's, that's, that's labeled, so such as these test points here. So that there itself is, is actually giving you a point in which you can test from. So when you come to installing this, so if you've dropped it forward, if you're, if you're not using an adapter when testing, you can lean that forward and actually use your test probes to get into those test points there because obviously you don't have any screwed connections there where you can go on to so the, the incorporated these test points at the top, which is a really good um, point, especially for this type of socket. So a few more bits just to mention on this one. So these are double pole as well, uh, rather than single pole sockets. And obviously when you're using um, Wagos and maintenance free connections, there's obviously um, a certain amount of conductor that you need to um, expose basically so you can get that into the connection point itself so in terms of mk but what they've mentioned is that the conductor length that needs to go into these points here so obviously if you was to lift up the lever and you was going to terminate your conductor into there it needs to be at least 10 mil or 10 mil exactly um and you've got a little depth gauge there so what we're going to do is i've got some cable here at the side um, already stripped back and what we're going to do is we're going to strip it using this depth gauge at the back here 
to show it to the camera there. So you've got a little depth gauge there and obviously we're gonna strip the inner insulation back just so our conductor is that length there. And then that should be the perfect amount to sit inside the socket. Okay, so let's give that a go and see how we get on. So obviously on these connections here, we're using um, 2.5 mil twin and CPC cable, which is generally used uh, um, along most circuits such as um, ring final circuits, um, radials as well. But as also obviously when you're wiring sockets and that kind of things, there is the scope as well to, if you're doing um, bigger radials such as four mil radials, that kind of stuff. Um, MK have also stated in there, information that these terminations can accept anything from 1.5 mil uh, squared cable um, co conductor sorry up to 2.5 and 4 mil okay so it, it, what i've done is i've just stripped these back and as you can see i'll show it to the camera there you can see they're stripped back for the depth gauge there and that should be the right amount of conductor exposed there and what i'll do beforehand i'll just put some um Earth sleeving over as well. So, the good thing is that you want to be able to install this socket, especially if you're on a job or rewire something like that. You want to be as productive as possible. Um, these are a bit more expensive than the regular type sockets, which which is okay, and obviously you can factor that into the job. Um, but you've got to sort of weigh up the options of is it is it worth worth it money wise. Um, but let's be honest, if you've got a lot of sockets to put on, I think I know which one I'd go for, which would be this type of socket, because obviously it just makes installation time a lot quicker. What we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna pop these levers up, and they're very easy to do. Like I say, you don't have to pop all three up, like so. So you can pop them up one at a time or whatever, or you can just pop up the one, depending on what you're using. So what you want to do is just pop that conductor in, and then pop the lever down. And that there, that is really, good solid connect connection. Same with the CPC, so you just want to line that up, making sure obviously you're pushing the actual conductor in and you're not just pushing the sleeve in. Let's have a look. So push that in, lever down, same with that one, and then same with the neutral. Just pop those in. So, giving them a really good tug test there and so far they are good solid connections so what you see there is that we've terminated those connections there so just this is just a 2.5 mil uh twin cpc cable so you've got obviously a 2.5 mil uh line conductor there and your neutral and then obviously the 1.5 mil cpc there so those connections are nice and solid, and obviously you've got three points in each, so that caters for obviously, if it was a ring final circuit, for example, you could have your uh, your feed in and your feed out, and obviously you've got scope then to take out, for example, a spur off that socket, okay? So that's really good in, in a way for anybody who's wiring, um, because obviously it just gives you access to each point. And as well, like I've mentioned, I haven't got any four mil cable here today, but, it will accept four mil. And that's same for the um, stranded, um, the solid stranded cable, and obviously uh, just as solid terminations as we've got here. So the class one as well. The other thing that we want to mention, obviously MK have mentioned that these um, are, are good to go in basically in a 25 mil back box, such as um, this one. So this is a 25 mil, okay? So the depth of that there is 25 mil, and this is, standard throughout uh, most installations but moving forward with people getting usb sockets that kind of stuff um, requiring deeper back boxes people uh, including myself generally go for 35 mil which is this one here okay so that just gives you a bit more depth there but the question is is there is there much change in these two and i can tell you now just by looking at these um the one with the screwless connections there does seem to be um, a bit more raised. Obviously, when you're working um, on the job and you obviously want to terminate this, you've got to factor that in. But MK do say that this will fit in a 25mm back box perfectly fine. So I've got one here. So what I'm going to do, I'll bob that in. So we're terminating. And to be honest, looking at that, I don't know how well you can see that, but 
that gives you a lot of room. Okay, there's still plenty to work with. It, it's not it's not the best because obviously when you've got uh, cables in there, you've got to make sure that you're not crushing any connections or damaging any any of the cables. But you have still got enough room there. Um, I would say to to get that installed pretty well. Really, really good. First impressions, I think overall, fantastic. I think they've really, really made a good um, good piece of kit here. It's 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 really nice. They've kept obviously the the, the design. It's nice and slick. Um, it's modern. The the actual build of it still feels really solid, which is good. And these connections in the back, they're all solid as well, um, and they're just really easy to use. We did get these from a reputable wholesaler. I won't mention names, but um, price-wise, you're looking, um, I think off the top of my head, I think it was about uh, £3.50 or so for a standard one, and you're talking maybe uh, £1.50 extra for this type. But you've got to weigh up, obviously, the time saved when installing, um, which we're going to look at in our next video, um, and just to see, obviously, if this is a lot quicker. But obviously, you can see from doing that, just straight in there, like so, um, to putting them in and then twiddling them in and, and checking your connections. It's a lot easier, it's a lot safer, uh, and chances of that conductor getting damaged is pretty much next to none because, because obviously if you follow that, you're going to achieve a, a good sound connection. Okay, so for us, um, what I would say is if you would... Um, let's see how we get on. We're going to do another video showing basically like how to install them and just see if that is any quicker installing um, compared to a screw connection one, as, as you've seen there. Um, so if you've liked the, liked the video, please uh, hit the like button. And if you want to see any more content, including um, the, the process of installing that socket and how quickly it is um, to, to install the new version as opposed to that one, then please tune in um, and subscribe and, and you'll also catch up on all our other exciting content coming up. Okay, take care, see you soon.